story I had to say, cause I'm back on road. Yeah. I still do these hoes with DJ seven. Muda. Back on road. My boy. What's the deal? It's freezing. Shit, we in the Midwest. Back to Ohio, I see. Let's get it. What we headed today? Back to the woo. Let's go with me. Hell pushing up my bus. In and out of traffic, bitch, I'm in a rush. What's up, bro? Hit the road with Muda. City bitch in the city. <laughs> so if you could take a road trip anywhere, where would it be? And a road trip could be personal, to go DJ somewhere, to holler at your homies, etc. Where would you want to go? If I had to literally be in a car and road trip, <laughs> I would go. Let's go to Atlanta. Okay, okay. Why are we going to the A then? We're going to the A. Because I did that last year yeah. for the Ryan Wedding, but why are we going to the A? Um, we're going to the A, number one, because Black Hollywood is, is the hub. You know, we Definitely. want to turn up, you know, uh -huh. party, and, you know, have a good time. And then, of course, you know, everybody's in Atlanta. You okay. feel me? So, and then on top of that, that's, uh, I guess, a long enough ride, you know what I mean? That's probably, that, that, that's a real road trip. Because I was going to say somewhere trip. close, maybe like yeah. Vegas, but uh -huh. that's three hours. Right. So when I think of road trip, I'm thinking somewhere far. I road tripped with the homies to Texas. That was almost like a day. You know what I mean? That was the, the South by South, South by South. Yeah, I've done that a few times. You know what I mean? Okay. Then, then, of course, I've been on the tours. So that's already me. All right, DJ Muda. So tell the people who, who you are, where you're from, your background. Give us a little history of yourself. Um, I am DJ Muda, the facilitator of the turn up, the IE ambassador. I represent San Bernardino, California by way of the West Side. Um, I own and operate a, a cannabis syrup company. I also have merchandise, clothing. Um, I, I motivate children, you know, and um, I'm yeah, into motor juice. We rocking the brand. Got me a new nice yeah. motor juice hoodie for Dawn Dance. Move yeah. Force Colors represent. Yeah, represent. Got the hat. Uh -huh. We motor juiced up. So what's the inspiration? What's the? Give me the whole round scope of motor juice. Okay, motor juice. If we gonna take it back to 2012 is when we launched. When I launched motor juice. Uh, it, it originated as a, I would say like a brand for for partying. I had a, a the original Moody Juice was made. You know, we were just turning up. Me and my roommate at the time, we we were just having kickbacks. We was having hella kickbacks. We were just making this punch, and you know, we just named it Moody Juice. And we was having Moody Juice functions, Moody Juice kickbacks and shit. Okay. You know, so it was lit. It started in 2012. Um, you know what I'm saying? So. So Moody Juice was inspired by uh, a jungle juice that was purple? It was, um, yeah, I guess it was like a purplish color, you know what I mean? It was like a passion fruit color. Okay, okay, color. okay. So, okay. so um, yeah, that's why you, you can see my logo. Everything is like and So from 2010 to now, 2012, what, 2012 20, I'm sorry, so 2012 to now, what were the steps to get, to go run off of it as a brand? Okay, so, um, after 2012, well, from 2012 to about 2014 is when the Moody Juice brand is when we, you know, we launched, we was pushing it hard with the juice, the events and stuff like that, you know, the merch that we were launching at the time. Um, it's incorporated with me because I, obviously I'm a DJ and I have a lot of events and, you know, people kind of like dig my energy and they rock with what I was doing, you know what I mean? So, okay. um, so after, I would say after 2014 is when like kind of Moody Juice got pushed in the back seat and, you know, I was put, you know, working more with you know DJ Muda and the music stuff you yeah. know what I mean like okay. going on the road doing a lot of shows and just you know I was just preoccupied with just I was too occupied with just DJ Muda you know what I mean but I, was, ooh, 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 I put Detroit on them I sat back and then came up with the new plan to revamp and, and bring back the Muda juice okay. you know what I mean like yeah. so I came back as like kind of like how Titty Boy was or two chains was titty, titty boy, boy uh, um but again moody juice is a cannabis based syrup you know what i mean so it's all healthy it's, it's, it's organic you know what mm -hmm. i mean it's natural it's come from natural flower you okay. know what i mean so it's activated thc mixed with organic concentrate okay you me? which that which make the flavors and you can mix that with whatever you like to drink I'm, i mean whatever you know, right. I know some people mix it with water you okay me? just or you can drink it straight, but either or. So people do drink it straight. Can if you want to, if you want to. Okay. You know what I mean? Because it's gonna hit you. Like I said, Moody Juice is made with activated uh, THC distillate. Okay. You know what I mean? That's the cleanest, purest, concentrated way of THC. So you what are the effects? If I was to drink some Moody Juice, Moody how would I feel and okay. why am I drinking it? Okay. So the first question is, we're gonna turn that around and say, why are you drinking? Moody okay. Juice? Why? Can you maybe? You got back problems, you know what I mean? I know you work a lot, 
I know you in the car driving, doing your vlogs all the time. So I know sometimes maybe you just get home, you relax, you gonna feel good. You gonna, you know what I mean? It's gonna, you gonna take a load off without knowing you drinking. I mean, with without putting drugs and all that negative stuff that's gonna eventually kill you. Okay. You feel me? You drinking this? You know what I'm saying to get the pain away. I know people who are who are who buy moody juice, who are cancer patients, who, mm -hmm. who, who have PTSD, who can't sleep at night, right. who are stressed out. You know what I mean? They drink moody juice to take the pain away. Okay. Because it's the pain relief. See on the bottle, it's a pain relief. You know what I mean? And um, and I know, and, and there's plenty of people that drink moody juice that don't even smoke flour, smoke weed. They don't mm -hmm. do none of that. You right. Know what I mean, they drink literally strictly for their medicine. You got gotcha. and, and that's it. You know. But if, if I drink the moody juice with a it's like, is it like kind of like consuming weed? It's gonna like be weed like in my system or I mean, I mean, it's not like consuming weed. Okay. Okay, you know what I mean? Because like I said, it's cannabis based. Okay. So that's just the medicine that's in it. I so you're you. not just out, <laughs> you know what I mean? You're yeah. literally drinking it because you know that, again, it's taking away pain. Okay. This right here is our, the lime, or I'm sorry, sour apple flavor. This yeah. is 300 milligrams. And you were just pour maybe like, Two teaspoons into your into your cup okay. or into your bottle, I, I would say. Yeah. And, and you're gonna feel the results in, within five five minutes. Five to the 10 minutes. results is re relaxation. Yes. And relaxation. Um, it's like a euphoric body high. Okay. You know what I mean. So it's nothing where it's all in your head. It's all about. It's all body. Okay. You know what I mean. So it takes away all that. Would shit I? Would it's I? For your nerves. Would I drink it while I'm driving, like on the I, road? Uh, I definitely wouldn't advise that. Okay. Yeah, where does this right. idea come from to start selling cannabis syrup? Um, honestly, it's, it it derived out from my friends. Like you know, a lot of my homies they drink lean. A lot of people dying from. Yeah, I seen the kick the kick the lean cup kick the challenge. Cup. Kick the cup, kick the uh, Shout out to Molly, he did the kick kick the cup uh, okay. challenge. But even way before that, okay. you know what I mean, way before he even started that, yeah. I've already been peeping that. You know what I mean? So um, I have army vets, uh -huh. I have uh, cancer patients, I have somebody somebody literally just hit me up before I came out here who has Crohn's disease, I guess uh -huh. it's a stomach disease. Yeah, and he got a they, he had to take a lot of like different. Uh, I think he said. Xanaxes or something like that. You gotta take, like, yeah, just a lot take of relaxer pain. pills. Yeah, but he's like, man, I, I'm not lying. When I drink moody juice, bro, I can, I can, I don't feel no pain. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I we don't it. know what he's suffering, so this right. is really helpful. I know a lady, literally, literally, a lady who has sickle cell. Pain is so crucial, but she can drink moody juice before she. She was honest with me. She's like, once the pain comes, the moody juice doesn't take away the pain. But if I can feel that pain, like as it's coming, like because yeah. she obviously knows how it's gonna feel when. Yeah. I'm, so she said, but if I can catch that and drink some moody juice before that pain, that pain will never come. That's like, what's up. That's, that's what's what's up. Deep. Cause it's bad. people out here really suffering. It's, yeah, definitely uh, a lot of sick people. Sickle cell and the crazy very... part is, it's a lot of these drugs that we buy thinking that's gonna help us is really making us worse. Mm. You know. That's right. The blast with you. Loose bag, that's a quarter cash in the caterpillar. Punch tags from the nigga ass, the ice, I'm a cop killer. Fudge a miller, shoot a bill up. Say Felipe, you say fill up. Double cook on the So like, we gotta start using and, and going back to the things that been coming from the earth for years. I'm talking about TAC and cannabis has been on this earth for millions of years. Definitely. They've been medicating and using this for years. Mm -hmm. So why? Because somebody thinks it's illegal because they can't make money off of it. That, but it's still curing. How can you say this? The same product is used for cancer patients that cures, helps them with whatever they got going on. But at the other end of the snake, it's illegal. Okay. How does that this work? This is not a drill. This the real thing. Whoa. I do what the fuck I feel. Fuck your feelings. Yeah. Make my blueprints on my life. Got no ceilings. I, I create the energy that they keep stealing. End up at Little Force, Ohio, going to college for that school. Well, now they just actually um, came to recruit at my high school okay. at the time. Um, you know, I didn't really have no schools I was applying to. I really wasn't even applying to no black college. I really didn't even know about black colleges or something like that. Um, so they came through or whatever. Um, I sent that, you know, I filled it out. It seemed interesting. You know, I, mm -hmm. I was a senior in high school. I wasn't really on my shit. You feel me? So. But um, I'm like, you know what, let me fill this application out. I was definitely leaving California, not sure. So I happened to, um, you know, apply when they came through. And then I got a letter, you know, that I got accepted, you know, a few weeks later or whatever. And then, you know, I had the other options, but I was like, fuck it. You feel me? I want to go. First yeah. arrived on Wilbur Forest University, what was your initial thoughts? Like, what the fuck did I just do? I'm going to be 100. That was my first thought. Like, what 
should I just do? Where am I? <laughs> just, I'm looking around like cornfields, <laughs> middle of nowhere. What the fuck did I just do? <laughs> my dad looked over, looked around like, hey, listen, if you want to get on my this flight back home with me, then you can't because he came with me. Yeah. He's like, you can get on this flight back with me. The one he was trying to, to get comfortable, like, okay, I'm, I think this is school for me or I'm going to work it out. Shit, man, like that first week, it was cracking. Okay. Like, it was really cracking, like the freshman orientation was popping. We, like, you feel me, all the little, you know, the niggas I was kicking it with at the time, they was all cool, you feel me? Like, I'm talking about during that first, like, month or week yeah, or whatever, yeah, you know, yeah, that first yeah. beginning, beginning period of time, you know, it was cool. I'm a, plus, I was outside, I was out the house, um, I was away from home. What was these days like walking up here with your dad to register? That, that there's only one day he did, he did that. Obviously don't work. I remember walking this motherfucker every semester trying to get my A. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm DJ and I had just linked with um, Problem at the time. So I was going to LA and Hollywood every day, either doing shows or rehearsing Hollywood every day. Yeah. So it was hard for me to wake up in the morning to go to work at eight or nine mm -hmm. and then turn around and like, you know, do a nine to five, go to LA, be in LA till about two, three in the morning, drive back home, go to sleep and wake up. You know what I mean? It was just too hard. Like, so after that, like three months of me doing that, I was just like, yeah, I can't work. So, I, so therefore I had to really work hard and find gigs and grind and DJ to get my rent and pay my bills. You feel me? That's what a lot of people who DJ didn't do because DJ to them was a hobby, a side job. They mm -hmm. still had their own stuff going on, right. you feel me? Yeah. So with me being a full-time DJ and I knew that I had to be a full-time DJ, I had to go out there and go get it. Yeah, you're you not me? gonna put your full into something that you're not spending all your 